Hi guys, welcome back to this week's video. <clears throat> it's video light. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, comment down below next. Well, comment down below what's in the next. And on to the video. Well guys, today we are going to read scary stories. The ones that you're not supposed to read by yourself. And as you can see, um, there's nobody. So <laughs> Okay, there's nobody. Um, I am a little bit quiet because my sisters are sleeping upstairs. Um, and there's nobody besides me awake, and it is three a.m. So hopefully, I don't get a devil or demon or anything at all to be here. Please get the hell out of here. Um. Okay, so let's. Get started. Uh, okay, I'm scared a little bit, but it's okay. Okay, these stories I got from man. I was here. My fish got scared. These stories I got it from a website. Um, some no, some of them are my, like not mine, but like some of them are my friends, and. They don't mind me sharing. So, get that. Like, there's some some of them, like, websites. Some of them are friends. So, anywho. The first one I'm gonna read to you. Okay. 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 Sorry, I get scared. Okay. Okay. A couple of months ago, my friend's cousin, a single mother, bought a new cell phone. After a long day of work, she came home, placed her phone on the counter, and when wa and and when watched TV, her son came to her and asked, "If hold on, let me get this." Okay, be um, I have my finger dangling down, and uh, uh okay. Her son came to her and asked if he could play with a, her new phone. She told him not to call anyone or mess with texting messages, and he agreed. At around 11.20, she was drowsy, so she decided to tuck her son in and go to bed. She walked to his room and saw that he wasn't there. She then ran over to her room to find him sleeping on her bed with the phone in his hand. Revealing, she picked her phone back up from his hand to respect it. Inspect it, sorry, inspect it, sorry. I have a delicacy, I'm just kidding. Inspect it. Browsing through it, she noticed only minor changes, changes, such as a new background panel, etc. But then she opened up her save pictures. She began deleting the pictures he had taken until only one new picture remaining. When she first saw it, she was in disbelief. It was her son sleeping on her bed, but the picture was taken by someone else above him. Oh my god. Oh, okay. And shown the left hand of an elderly woman's face. Uh, in the end. Oh my god. Uh, um, that was scary. Okay, so now that I know that it's scary, but not that scary, if that makes sense. I'm feeling good. Okay, okay. My house was built in, that's another story. My house was built in 1904. It is a single family home, wood frames sitting on a concrete block. Foundation. I have been living here for about 12 years of all the weird things that my siblings and I and me have seen or heard in this house. One evening it is my favorite event. One event, sorry, one event is my favorite. And this happened to my to my brother and 10 year old, 10 years ago, sorry, 10. I'm getting sleepy, y'all. And 10 years ago, my brother and his best friend had started a garage band playing. 
mostly Spanish rock, alternately music but in Spanish. His friends could only get together on Sundays afternoons. They would practice into the early evening and they would usually call it quits by 8 p.m. This was the time I usually showed up and went to bed because I worked the graveyard shift. Oh, I hated those days. And I would work at Jack in the Box. Mm -mm. Okay, anywho. <laughs> this happened in a late fall, so the days were getting shorter then. They had just finished a long session when the, the, when the decision to head to someone else's house Someone else's house came about. My brother had his car keys to his buddy so they could load up the equipment. And everyone had filled out of the filled out of the basement. I'm guessing they got out of the basement. I don't know. Everyone had okay, but the tricky part was the was that they needed to walk all the way to the back of the basement, up the back stairs, through the through the kitchen doorway, down the hall, into the living room, and out to the front porch. Everyone was outside, sitting in my brother's truck, waiting for him. My brother was walking up to up the back stairs when he remembered that he had left his pancakes in a in a to go container sitting on a speaker in the basement he made the decision to go back now the basement is no not clean with full slight uh, sight lines there had been partition made and the boiler and main heating unit are right back in the middle so off after my brother walks back, he uh, he is about to retrieve his food container when, out of the corner of his eyes, he sees a it was a shadow figure right at his peripheral vision. His feeling of dread and uneasy washed over my brother. We had been tough that if you are in. In prison of a spirit or ghost, and you felt a bad vibe to say quick play, pray a quick prayer and to cuss it at. Wait, I have heard people do that. Wait, this is recording again. Yeah. <laughs> I have had like my parents have told me, oh, if you're a bad spirit or anything, to cuss them out and tell them to leave. So, I understand this. So, yeah. Um, okay, so where were we? Da -da 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 -da. Okay, this, it was okay, da -da -da. to cuss at it. My brother chose the letter. He basically just told him to, told him, hey, F you, I don't make, I don't have time to this, for this shit. Oops, sorry. <laughs> the fuck was that? Okay, maybe it's um nothing. Okay. My brother started to walk to the back of the basement and briskly up the stairs, closing doors and turning off lights. As he was walking out, the last light switch is on the opposite side of the front door. Luckily, the door was open and the light of the street lamp was floating the living room with its Amber light. My brother said he left something at his back, but at no point did he turn around as he flickered the last switch. The living room went dark as did the rest of the house. As he stepped out of the, as if he stepped out of, he pulled on the door, closing it behind, still holding his food container in one of hand. He judged down the few porches steps. He walked towards the front gate or house residence far from the main street. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting sick and I don't like it. Calm down, y'all. It's not COVID. So, calm down. Um, anywho. Uh, set to the close it behind him. Big main street. 
and essentially having a large front yard but no rear garage as he closed up gap between himself and his friends laden truck he kind of smiled and saw things over his head mad at him mad at himself for spoken out when there was no reason he clipped into the driver's side of the truck putting on his seatbelt and getting ready to pull out of the parking lot stop directly in front of the house when one of the, his friends asked hey wait what about your brother isn't he coming with us my brother answered what do you mean he went to work early today He's already gone. Do you see his car anywhere? The next question. The next question. They asked. So then who was walking behind you when you were leaving the house? Oh, hell no, bro. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay, so this story is my friend's. His housekeeper was told him this story that happened to her so um yeah one night when I was maybe 10 to 12 I had trouble falling asleep my bedroom was the entire top floor of our house with my bed and such being on the left side on the storage closet and a play area be being on the right I was laying in bed when I heard a noise from the other side of the room and see a rocky horse beginning to rock. It was sitting just outside on the on one of the stair closet doors. It it proceeded to rock its way half across the room and stopped dead under the ceiling light. At this point I was freaking out and just burnt burying my head under my blanket and never back peeked out again until morning. It was all confirmed to not be a dream as the rocking horse was still in the middle of the room. When I woke up furthermore, I got a stern repair from my parents for being up out, up out of bed laying with my horse. Sorry, with my toys. Well, past my bedtime, their bedroom was directly between the below the storage closet plate. Ariel and had had heard the cracking of the rocking or shuffling across the room. That is creepy. Like when my friend told me that, it kind of kind of it got me a little bit scared because I'm like, uh, I always had a fear of those type of stuff happening. Okay. My older sister has a ghost that follows her around for years. I lived with her once for about three months and so much weird stuff in that time. All my sister would say to me when I mentioned it, it was that her ghost didn't like me being there. Ugh. Okay, so I thought... Maybe I'm tripping. I thought the curtain was moving. <sighs> okay. Things like doing going to bed with everything locked up and switch of the and walking up in the morning with the back door open, lights on, on and the cuddle switch on. One night, my sister and I were getting ready to go out and asked to borrow her liquid foundation. I used it and put it. Back where she kept her makeup. Ten minutes later, she's asking me for it. And it was nowhere to be seen. She accused me for, of taking it and made me buy her a new one. And refused to listen to my side of the story about a year or so later when she was picking to packing to move to a new house. She found the makeup in a shoebox with some old letters. The shoebox was in a zip up suitcase was that was underneath her bed but probably the most scared I ever felt was one afternoon when I was the only one in the house which never happened as say for for other people lived there 
Uh, I arrived home from work and head straight to the bathroom. All the doors, windows, etc. were closed. I was standing in the bedrooms, bedroom, bath, sorry, bathroom, and started squeezing a pimple on my chin. Ew, that's nasty. When a female voice in the hall said, "Stop picking your seats," it it was loud enough and sounded real enough. And at the time, I thought it was my sister, so I was. I laughed, told her to fuck off, and asked what she was doing for dinner. No answer. I stuck my head out of and in, into the hall. No one there. I searched the house top and to the bottom, and there was no one home. I sat out on the front porch until someone else got home because I didn't want to be in, in there alone. Um, that's creepy, and... Ew, like, bro, ew, like, okay, so, I have enough, I have, have enough, I'm starting to see things that is starting to freak me out, I know, it's just all in here, um, I hated that, I don't know why the fuck I did that, but, yeah, guys, um, give the video a like if you like it. Comment down, comment down below if you want more of this. Um, or if you we want someone else to be here besides me. Um, so yeah, comment down below what should I do next. And bye guys.